Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. United Legends Cheer Ten Hags Reds to Victory. By Mark Frog at Saturday, February 25, 2023, 2 o'clock. Share with Twitter, share with Facebook. Manchester United vs. Barcelona at Old Trafford is a fixture that demands the world's attention and, unsurprisingly, a team of Reds legends were all in attendance. In the director's box, Sir Alex Ferguson was proud to pose for an incredible photo with five of his former players. John O'Shea was back following his appointment as Republic of Ireland's assistant manager earlier this week. He stood next to Nanny, who was also at the Now Camp last week and even visited Carrington with his young son this week. Patrice Evra had his arm wrapped tightly around Sir Alex and, on MUTV, the Frenchman passionately discussed how Eric Ten Hag reminds him of the boss. Dimitar Berberdov was also back in M16 and Jop Stam concluded our iconic photo, as part of his return to appear on MUTV's Match Day Live program. Diane Dublin was also working for MUTV on the night, while Owen Hargreaves, Paul Scholes and Robin Van Persie were with BT Sport, which didn't go unnoticed by Barcelona boss Xavi. Peter Schmeichel was with the BBC, while Rio Ferdinand also enjoyed the atmosphere as a fan. With some flexible positioning, it's an impressive tie. Schmeichel, O'Shea, Ferdinand, Stam, Evre, Nanny, Scholes, Hargreaves, Berberdov, Dublin, Van Persie. The trophy this year is Ten Hag. Speaking to MUTV ahead of kickoff, Evre gave this passionate assessment of United's resurgence this season. You can see we are heading in the right direction, you can see the fans are happy, the players are producing, they play for the badge, they play for the passion and that is all that the United fans want. United people are like working people, so when you run and you give everything, the supporters will be behind you whether you win or you lose. For me, I will be honest with you, it doesn't matter whether they win any trophies, I am already happy with the way things are going and especially with Eric Ten Hag. The trophy this year is Eric Ten Hag. I don't ask for any trophy because I know that next year, if we go in the same direction, we are going to win trophies. We have got opportunities and the closest one is the game on Sunday against Newcastle, but if they win or they lose, for me we have already got the trophy and that is Ten Hag. He brings back so much discipline and the structure, you can see the players really like him. The special example is with Jadon Sancho, when he wasn't fit he sent him away and he came back. When he scored that goal, I saw the reaction of the boss. He was smiling, he was like this is my son and that is what I like it. My relationship with Sir Alex Ferguson, I was never scared of Sir Alex Ferguson, even if he was giving the hair dryer but I was scared to disappoint him. That is the kind of thing I am starting to see with Eric Ten Hag. People are happy to see United. Read what Van Persie told us about his experience of returning to United this week, I can feel that, something is brewing. Just by simple things. For example, when I arrived at the airport, a fan came towards me and asked the question if I'm going to the game. I said yeah, I'm going to the game, I'm here for the game and he said okay, me too. I said where did you travel from and he said I traveled especially to watch the match tomorrow and on Sunday for the cup final, from Bangkok. So he traveled and I said wow, it's a big commitment and he said yes, I'm a big fan. He said this Manchester United makes him really happy with the way they play, the energy, the intensity. I said it's nice to hear but that is like a sign, people are really happy to see Manchester United play. The whole energy around the club is so much more positive than it used to be in the last few years. So that is like, Eric earns credit for that, but the players as well. Everyone earns credit. It's nice to see the whole energy around the club is so much more positive and the guys are working very hard for that. I can sense something is happening. Speaking on his Vibe with Five podcast. Ferdinand summed up the feeling around Carrington right now, the vibes at Carrington and Old Trafford have changed dramatically. It's become more positive, the ambience in the place. The cafeteria has even changed. It's like everything has changed. Looks different, feels different, food's different. I was on my own, walking back out through the training ground, through the corridors, and I stood there and just smiled. I can sense something happening in here now. I don't what it is or where it's going to but the ambience is very different. There's a confidence in the place. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.